And what's interesting is when she asked herself that question, the answer was no, I'm done. So there's nothing that any healer could ever do for that type of vibration, which is totally fine. From source energy, there's nothing wrong with death from that perspective. So she chose to commit suicide. Interestingly enough, it took her about two days before she was reincarnated again. Congratulations, Teal. You're a monster. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're back at it again. Dear God, help me if there is one. I'm kidding, there is. Just not the one in the Bible. So, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mullen Alliance. I'm a psychic medium, a near-death experiencer, a demonologist, a witch, and an astral exorcist. Yes, I do all those things, just not always in that exact order. So, Without further ado, let's continue. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've seen me before, welcome back. In this channel, what we do is we discuss and talk about the seriousness of psychic mediumship and how to enlighten yourself through opening your third eye and more importantly, enhancing your psychic abilities through genuine experiences. But also, most importantly, this channel is about bringing awareness based on the dangers of certain entities like demons, devils, and earthbound spirits and how to keep yourself safe from them. So if you like this kind of content, you are more than welcome to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can keep track of videos that I upload like this every week. So without further ado guys, let's get into this. Okay, we're going after Teal again. I can't help it. I have to. And the reason why is because something she did that I can't ignore. Um, as a psychic medium, I was very triggered by this information that she bestowed online. It's actually a video that she was exposed over and she actually took it down. But thankfully, people on the internet have actually re-uploaded it and I found a copy. So today we're going to be doing a reaction video to a video based on where Teal actually says uh, something very shocking and very disturbing based on suicide. Now before I continue, if you have any trigger issues based on this topic, I do recommend that you maybe click off this video now if you find that the word or the suggestive uh, notions in this video are disturbing to young viewers or even to yourself if it is a trigger warning. So it's a trigger warning. Um, this is very disturbing. I have lost those to suicide uh, people that I've known and more importantly, you know, me as a medium, I've encountered many spirits who have died by suicide and a lot of them regret it. Ulti ultimately, they regret it. So there is a trigger warning in advance if you are sensitive to the topic of suicide. Uh, there's no judgment in this area here. Uh, we do not, I do not condone judging a soul that commits suicide. That's not the purpose of this channel. There's only love and forgiveness, but more so not even forgiveness. It's actually just genuine healing and understanding coming from a heartfelt place to approach every situation with a soul that has faced suicide and decided it to heal through those emotions because everyone should know by now, no person commits suicide because they want to. It's because they feel it's the only decision they have left to find any remote level of happiness from the sorrow that's in their minds. And I know this all too well because of a lot of souls that I've met. I'm not a clinical psychologist. I am most definitely against suicide. I am very appalled by the statements that Teal Swan makes in this video. And that's the exact reason why we are going to react to it today. So it's important that if you have a trigger issue, it would be best for you to skip this next step and then come back to where I'm at or prepare yourself because it's disturbing. I actually, interestingly enough, lost my first client to suicide this last year. And this was a woman who was absolutely miserable. I am talking, every moment of her life was a nightmare. 
And so we had that very serious sit down talk where we had to say, all right, we're either committing or not committing to life. Because every time I gave her a suggestion, she'd stop in two days doing the suggestion. So then we have to ask the question, do we really want this to work? And what's interesting is when she asked herself that question, the answer was no, I'm done. So there's nothing that any healer could ever do for that type of vibration, which is totally fine. From source energy, there's nothing wrong with death from that perspective. So she chose to commit suicide. Interestingly enough, it took her about two days before she was reincarnated again. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing, though. A lot of people who commit suicide, they get in one of those negative spirals, so they're desiring things so extremely, and they're not letting themselves line up with that thing they're desiring so extremely, so that the only way that they can fully line up with it is through death. All Everything they desire. That's why it feels so good to die. You have basically accumulated in what a lot of people who teach teach law of attraction would call a vibrational escrow. It's essentially that every time you experience something unwanted, you broadcast what is wanted, and that becomes the vibration of your eternal self. Your eternal self, which has no resistance, adopts that vibration exactly, so that when you die, you line up with it, and you become that. So when you die, it's like lining up with the best food you've ever eaten and the lover who you've always wanted and I mean I could list this whole thing everything you've ever wanted from your life mm. you line up with <laughs> what suicide is is pushing the reset button it's not a good or bad decision in and of itself it's not something that source either condones or condemns those who for whatever reason find themselves unable to find that alignment we don't need to condemn their decision to commit suicide. Really, once they do, we must understand that that is relief and it is release, and they have set themselves free and they have pushed the reset button and they have re-emerged with source perspective. The ultimate example of what people consider to be a false prophet may be Jim Jones, leader of the People's Temple. Long story short, plastic cups, flavorade packets and syringes littered the area where 909 bodies were found at the largest revolutionary suicide in modern history after Jones urged his followers to die in support of opalistic communism. Don't believe for a second that Jim Jones thought that he was causing people harm. He thought that he was helping people. He thought that the only way for them to be free was to die. I want you to lay down on the floor, and I mean completely let yourself collapse. What is suicide? It's giving up completely on life. So let yourself physically give up on life by falling on the floor. When you're on the floor, I want you to imagine dying. Now here's the thing. You've been loosely and mostly subconsciously toying with the idea of suicide. You've been thinking about it, but not really consciously. This time what I'm going to encourage you to do is to consciously imagine committing suicide. This is different than suicidal ideation, which is just a subconscious reaction to an emotional state. Imagine how you want to kill yourself and where you want to kill yourself. Imagine every grisly detail. Imagine who is there, how they will react. Become aware of the impact you want it to have on other people and why you want your suicide to have that impact. Imagine watching every detail of your funeral and what happens with your body. Imagine watching people grieve and moving on with their life. Imagine you watching all of it. Then imagine yourself going back to source, becoming part of universal mind or what you call God again. Imagine that now you have the relief you were seeking. You're not in pain anymore. You're watching Earth from that removed viewpoint, that you left it all behind. You're just objectively viewing the madness down here on Earth. Let yourself imagine and feel that sense of peace for as long as you can. I want you to pause this video right here. You have to do this exercise before you resume the rest of this video, if anything that is to come is to make sense. So pause this video now, do this process, and when you're done, Turn the video back on. What you have found out as a result of doing this process is that there is nowhere to go from the still peacefulness that is death. And what do we find? When we're in that still peaceful endedness, there is nowhere to go but back to life. Really? Seriously? Really? Teal is actually telling people, a person who's supposed to be super enlightened, and she's telling her audience, and she deleted that video. Why would she if it was so divine? Because she knows it's bullshit.
Killing yourself, committing suicide is not a reset button. It is self murder and mutilation. It's Satanism at its prime. It is Satanism at its peak. This woman is literally going on YouTube, going to her seminars. I guarantee you she's teaching this in her classes, which might as well be cult classes of Teal Swan. And she's initiating to people in their minds, instilling into their vulnerable mindset that if you are unhappy basically with your life, you should basically just kill yourself because it's a reset button. Because then in the realm of, let's say Buddhism, it's reincarnation. You always get set in that trap of reincarnation, right? No, even Buddhism is not correct on that. Buddhism is correct on reincarnation. She doesn't really recommend it that way in that sense. But the fact of the matter is, reincarnation is true and that's one reason why she kind of brings it up sort of but in, in a way in, in, in that sense people will think well if I just kill myself then I will just be born again and I'll be able to try again or if I kill myself then I can just go ahead and uh, not suffer anymore she's basically insinuating that it's a get out of jail free card Basically, if you kill yourself, you can end up being set free and all your problems are saved. You go back into oneness and, and it's a positive place. Are you fucking kidding me? This woman should be arrested. This woman should be in prison. Why? Because there are people who actually listened to her and fucking killed themselves. Teal, you should be in prison. No apology. You should be in jail for what you teach. Shame on you. You will be judged by many entities. You will be set into a motion where you have to answer to those souls who listen to your bullshit lies. Shame on you. Let me stop right there and let me explain something for any of you who are a fan of Teal or if you're new to this channel or if you're new to the whole idea of spiritual enlightenment. Listen very closely to what she said. In the realm of the other side, it is beautiful. It is indeed a beautiful, wondrous place. The purpose of this realm is for us to experience the livelihood of the 3D of the, of the whole aspect of what it means to be human. So that way we can learn lessons here. That's something she fails to mention. We have pain, we have sorrow, we have mental struggles, we have stress, we have anxiety, we have depression, we have all kinds of disabilities and illnesses and diseases, things that are incurable. Sure, that's true. It's painful on this planet, but why are we here? What's the purpose of us in this suffering? One of the biggest reasons why we chose to be on this planet, the biggest reason why we're on this planet is so we can grow from the pain. What's the process of a seed in the soil? The seed is in the soil, it struggles to grow. But as the seed pushes through the soil, that is able to permit growth. It's a struggle, it's not simple. If you actually are convinced that what she's saying is true, let me tell you, I used to be very suicidal. I used to be that way. So I know where she's going with this. I know what she's doing with this. I know how manipulative and sick this is. But what I don't agree with, what I don't see, is why she would even think that this was remotely acceptable. The only people that ever remotely think that this is acceptable are cult leaders. Teal Swan is a cult leader. Look at it. How many other people have died in cult groups? Loads of them. There have been so many cults that have 
reign supreme in the idea that suicide was the level of all enlightenment, that it was the escape route from this realm. There was a moment where I actually listened to her on the other realms, on the astral realm. She astral projects. She does. She's very good at it. But I even tried to communicate with her. She'll probably deny this. It's fine. I tried to communicate with her. I listened to her. She was very articulate, very smart. She's extremely charismatic, but that's what makes it dangerous. That's what makes her dangerous. Because the entire time I sat there, I even told her, I was like, why are you sitting there telling people that loving a demon is good? That loving demons, allowing them into your energy frequency is smart or good or even loving at all. Like, that's bad. Why? Because there was one time, one time where I tried to do that. And I got my ass beat to me by a devil entity, by a demon. The reason why I did it because I wanted to see, is it possible that what she said was correct? No, it's not. Because the reason is, is because, and I know this is off topic, but it's because it's in correlation to the same things. Because I made another reaction video on this. You can go ahead and see it. It'll be down in the description box below. If you haven't seen that other reaction video. Guys, if you haven't seen that, you really need to watch it because it fucking blew my mind. I'm sorry, but I have to swear. It blew my mind. Me as a demonologist, as an astral exorcist, like I do this for a living, I teach people the dangers of demons, of devils, of negative energies and forces. They're even created from magic, from witchcraft, from Satanism, demonolatry, from even PK manifestations, psychokinesis, all kinds of issues. This is the issue is she's spreading these occult lies. It's a cult. It's not new age. It's occult. Not a cult, but a cult, the O, O-C-C-U-L-T. But that's the issue here is if you can't see between these lines of these deceptions, you'll be easily duped into it. And there are so many people being deceived. It's, it's unbelievable how many people have defended her on these statements. It's unbelievable how many people actually think that this is fucking makes sense. She's encouraging people to commit suicide. And she obviously sat there and even made another video saying that she doesn't encourage that. She's a fucking liar! I'm sorry, she's a fucking liar! She sat there and literally said, I don't condone people to commit suicide. Really, bitch? Really? I'm sorry, I have to go there. Because did you not just say that you want to do a reset button, you encourage people to fucking commit suicide, and then go ahead and you delete the video, and now you want to recant everything you just fucking said? I digress, but I'm pretty sure that's what you did. To me, all I keep thinking about is how many people have died because of her. And how many people will die because of her. She should be in prison. Interestingly enough, lost my first client to suicide this last year for that type of vibration, which is totally fine. From source energy, there's nothing wrong with death from that perspective. So she chose to commit suicide. Interestingly enough, it took her about two days before she was reincarnated again. On the last note here, I'll tell you this much. Whether you think it's my ego or not, it's not. It's fucking anger. It's my fireside. It's rage. Why? Because even anger is justice for the injustice for the people that died at her recklessness and her deception of lies. She will answer to those people who died because of her. I've even met some of the souls. One in particular it was a female. She was an artist. She was absolutely phenomenal. Her art was incredible, but because she was going through depression and because someone went ahead and broke up with her, she decided to kill herself because she listened to fucking Teal. This person who is fucking worshipped like a goddamn statue. And you want to defend this woman? Wake up, people. She's a fucking cult leader. This woman is a sick parasite herself. I would never tell a person to ever commit suicide. I've talked three people out of suicide, including myself. Suicide is not a reset button. 
suicide is a way out when people give up on their mission in life, on what they signed up for. No person is here by accident. We all agreed to come here. Whether it's your first time here or it's your 300th time here. Every single soul is here for a divine reason, for growth. And when we commit suicide, we skip out on all of the other opportunities of growth and that is what forces and enforces reincarnation again later. Unfortunately, this is the painful truth. Not all souls will reincarnate, but most often they will have to reincarnate because they committed suicide and they skipped out on all the things that they agreed to experience. And the biggest lesson in suicide that every soul embraces when they go to the other side after ending their life is they realized they failed the number one lesson in life and it was to love thyself. Every single person who commits suicide eventually regrets it later because they miss their families, they miss their friends, they think about who and how many people they left behind and how many opportunities and experiences that they still could have had and how many lives they still could have changed for the better. Suicide is not a joke. There was a man, I won't say his name, he was an ex of mine, and he decided he got upset because I was going to leave him. I won't say his name. He got so upset because I wanted to break up with him. I didn't want to get back with him. And he was in a drunken rage and because I wouldn't go back with him, he grabbed razor blades and slit his wrists in front of me. I had to run immediately to get help. I had to call 911. We had to get him to a hospital. We were able to get some of the bleeding to stop, but he still had to get stitches. He's fine now. He's healed. He's in his own life. But the reality is, he was going to kill himself for that same reason. That girl killed herself after listening to Teal. If I was Teal and he did that, I probably wouldn't even have called 911. I probably would have said, enjoy your journey. That's probably what Teal would have done. She does say in her video, that she does believe, obviously, that you should practice every level of prevention of suicide. I hope she does. Because if she doesn't, and she just allows people to commit suicide whenever they decide that it's the end. Okay, why is it the end? Okay, why do you think that? I'm sure I would like to believe that. But this woman is a fraud. She even claims that she's a psychologist. She doesn't have a, psych a psychology degree. I looked into it. It's all a lie. There are loads of websites that expose her. It's unbelievable. If you don't believe me, look it up. It's incredible. But that's the scary part about it is people still believe in this nonsense and they don't do the homework on these, you know, spiritualist gurus online. The difference between me and Teal is I don't fucking tell people that suicide is a reset button because any psychic would know with common sense, no it's not. It's not a reset button. You don't just get to suddenly be reborn right after you kill yourself. It's not like that. You don't get a second chance like that. What happens is you end up killing yourself and you end up realizing that all the emotions that you killed yourself for are there even a billion times more. Most people don't realize that. When you, when you cross over, when people die, when we cross over, our emotions are 1,000 fold even more powerful. So if a person dies from emotions and anger or sadness or jealousy or hate, it's amplified a thousand times more, which is what causes a lot of souls to be earthbound because of these immense emotions and refusal to heal. And someone like Teal Swan obviously failed in that lesson, which is basics in psychic medium experiences 
when you talk to the dead. As a human being, as a woman, at, not even as a woman, just as a spiritual being who embraces love and wants to save people on a daily basis from pain, especially from harming themselves, the number one lesson we learn is self-love. To learn to love ourselves because we can never master love unless we learn to love ourselves first. And when a person kills themselves, they are not loving themselves enough. They're not giving themselves a chance. And that's the number one lesson every person learns when they commit suicide. And I hope and I pray that she sees this message and gets it in her thick skull that she's wrong. Very wrong. But that's my reaction. That's my genuine feedback. And I don't take any word back. It's 1000% and I'm not a coward. I won't delete this video. I want the whole world to see it and I really want Teal to see it over and over and over. And I want it to repeat in her mind because eventually she's going to realize she killed people. You're a murderer, Teal. You've killed people. So that's my honest feedback. I'm going to let that go <sighs> and I'm going to move on. But I wish you guys love and light. Before I end this, I always have to say this. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicide, please make sure to call the suicide hotline and make sure that you take it seriously. Suicide is a very, very, very serious issue. Depression is a very serious issue. And suicide is not the answer. Suicide is not the answer. Because at the end of that transition, you will regret it because you will realize you can't undo what you did. Every single thing that you did, it cannot be undone and it's permanent. Please, please, if you're ever considering her message, rethink this. So that's my honest review reaction to Teal Swan's suicide reset button video that will forever remain on the internet no matter how much you try to recant and deny that you actually fucking said that. So congratulations Teal, you're a monster. Anyway, back to reality. If you guys want to learn more about the other side, about demons and negative spirits, and more importantly, how to protect yourself from negative spirits, you can get my book, Demons and Familiars, a Contemporary Guide to Demonology, available on paperback and now on hardcover, which I'm really excited about. You can get it on Amazon. You can also get my books at lastfrontiermedium.com, which is my official website, where you can also get autographed copies officially from me. But if you're also looking for ways to enhance your psychic abilities, I also have candles at ascendedcandles.com, available only exclusively at that website, which I created. It's mine, and I made every single one of those candles handmade, and they're shipped by me. I wish you guys love and light. Thank you so much for tolerating me again, but it had to be said. And I hope you guys have a great week and I hope you guys have a great weekend. And more importantly, please, if you or anyone you know is suffering from depression or any other level of mental illness and is contemplating suicide or you know someone that is contemplating suicide, please reach out to the suicide hotline. They will help you and they will listen to you without judgment. I've known people who have reached out to these hotlines and they are absolutely wonderful and they do an amazing job. And these, most of these people are very trained in how to handle it. So, <laughs> unlike Teal. So, Teal should actually call them and get a little tip or two. But anyway, my end here is over and I wish you guys love and light. Thank you so much for watching this channel and thank you so much for subscribing, even if you did even after this. You're strong, you're strong. But thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.